Now, uh, I'm here going to try to demonstrate a few items, how they work from a fix it. I'm going to start with the reusable masking uh, sheets. Now, um, I have got the Cut and Go uh, Pro uh, machine, which is a six inch machine. So because these were all A5, now I have got uh, the sheets of the masking there. It's actually a, um, A4. So I'm just going to trim it down the middle in here. Now, I'm taking one of my dies. Uh, this one is from Bright Rosa, but it is a honeycomb pattern. It doesn't matter what dye it is. Now, one of the things I would recommend to, to use it is to, um, to always like cut it out of put it, your dye facing down over the masking brown area rather than on the um, you know, kind of liner or uh, you know, kind of backing sheet. Now the reason being is because, and let me grab a, um, one of my low tack tapes, the reason being is because the stickiness, sorry, it's just kind of, I needed to pop up because I didn't have my uh, low tack tape. Uh, this is what happens when you are doing a show on your own and you is 8 a.m. Anyway, um, so um, yeah, I'm just like, and anyway, I'm not complaining. I'm just explaining that I'm just a little bit of a mess uh, today. Anyway, so you what you do is you, it cuts better that side rather than the bottom of it. Now I'm going to put the low tech tape in, in, in the one side and then in the other side as well. Right, so then just run it through your die cutting machine. Um, and then run it through and then there I have it. Now can you see sometimes all the bits kind of fall, uh, it feels that oh it hasn't worked, it that has worked. And it's confetti if you want it to, but it's also a sticky confetti, so I wouldn't throw it to any brides because it might be a good stick. I mean, it's low tack, I mean, it wouldn't do any, any. So now you take it out, and of course, you have got the uh, sticky side on the back of the brown one. And what I, one of the things I love about these masking sheets is that the fact that it is extremely thin. So it means that for your inking techniques, it's going to be absolutely perfect. Now, of course, I'm putting onto a piece of card, and then you can see how it kind of, you attach it, and you make sure that it's kind of attached, but then you can lift it up at any one time. So I'm going to go in with, so, uh, with a little bit of crushed olive, and what, which one is crushed olive? Then I'm going to put a crushed olive, and then I'm gonna go in with evergreen or whatever color it is, evergreen bowl. Is that how you pronounce it? I wonder. Evergreen bowl. Anyway, but you can see how the masking sheets are kind of gliding the ink into it, so you are not wasting anything. And by the way, I'm using the crust, you know, I'm, uh, I'm using the craft sheet on the backing, so I can go in and drag in the ink as well. Now, I do love how well I can t go in with my, my brushes, my, uh, my blending br buds as well into it, and you can see that the masking sheets retain their sizes, and they don't, they don't kind of come out undone, if you know what I mean, they stay flat. Now when I lift it, and then you can take it off, but look at the, so it is quite nice, isn't it? Of course, if you are doing watercolors or things like that, that would work as well. Now you can then, can you see, position it somewhere else, and then go in, and then maybe with a little bit softer, and then, Go in, and can you see how you can reuse it as well and create different effects in here and there. So there are like different ways. Of course, then you can put it back onto the sheet if you wanted to, and making sure that the, you can reuse it next time. That's one thing, of course, you can do with the masking sheets. Of course, then there are other ways of using it. For instance, if you can then go in, you can freehand. So I I'm bringing, um, that's the one thing I forgot, a uh, stamp. Because you can stamp on it as well. And then, but you can do it also freehand. For instance, you can do something like that. 
and then you can then go in and so I'm going to turn it over so you can see and then and then create I'm going to go in with the salty ocean as well here and then kind of go in like that peel it off and then kind of going like like um like clouds okay so then you can go in and then and then kind of and then also if you are going in for the one day special from Matthew Palmer uh, you can also uh, use it for masking those sort of thing but you can create so can you see those kind of clouds in there of course you can tear it as well so you don't need to cut, you know just just don't need to uh, cut it with scissors or dies you can actually just do it tear it. now I uh, this is one I one of the things I love about these masking sheets is just the fact that you can do so much you can die cut perfectly clean but you can you know you can see how you can create in there now I kind of the other thing you can do with it, um, well, there are other things you can do, of course, with it, but uh, approaching 30% of the masking sheets has already, already gone. There you can see them, that you are getting 15 of the A4 reusable masking sheets. And of course, I have just used uh, not even a full A4, and look how much, and of course, because they are reusable, once that you have got them in here, you can use them time and time again. Of course, one of the things that you could do if you have got dyes is just put the masking tape with them so you know that they're ready to use next time. Uh, now, also, the other thing you can do, of course, is... Oh, thank you. Uh, so, perfect. That's perfect stamp. Now, we are going to take a stamp and then let me grab my ink pads. Uh, what is it? Well, I'm just going to grab... Uh, oh, what is it? Sorry, I'm gonna grab that and I'm gonna grab as well uh, what I have got. Um, didn't, I didn't say a bad word, I didn't say a bad word. <laughs> it's just like, here we have got a balloon. That's the word I was looking for. Now, of course, we're kind of gonna go in with an ink pad, and of course, you want to have a, an ink pad that is uh, will dry permanent. And the reason being is because, of course, it has got that waxy feeling. These um, masking sheets. So, of course, it doesn't matter if it's not a perfect impression. So, what you do, you take it around, and you just quickly trim it, and that will give us the perfect mass for this stamp. So remember, we have die cut it, we have torn it, we have freehand, and now we have stamped on it to create the perfect masking for our stamps. So you could do that to all the stamps that you want to create a different effect. Now I'm going to take it in here, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to stamp the, um, the balloon and ink it through and then kind of go in there. I should have done that first, shouldn't I? If I had thought properly, that would have worked better. But anyway, you get there it is. I'm gonna give it a um, quick blast with my heat gun to put it. So there you have it. I'm gonna use my uh, heat gun as well on top to dry. You can see that the ink is still a little bit wet, so I don't want to do that as there. Now I'm gonna go in with the blue to create a really much more a black blue around it and that's gonna create shall I do a little bit of brown I don't know I think it's just brown I don't have any oh let me see sorry it's just kind of gone in into a, a to a um, to a kind of this is not dark enough oh, I'm gonna go for a little bit of evergreen brew just kind of I just want to get a, maybe black Ma black is the best anyway just gonna put it and okay and then gonna go in a little bit of black in here so when i lift it up can you see how the stamp in there is kind of perfectly clean sorry and i know it's not making the most beautiful card but you know what I, you can do just showing how you can use it in different ways so remember we die cut we stencil through it then we use it we torn it to create the best sky we stamped on it we cut around it there are so many different ways 